In this video, I'm going to give you six quick tips on how to keep your feet and toes warm while camping in snowy conditions. The first is to use a hot water bottle. The key is to get the water really boiling. I mean, people say, oh, you shouldn't get it that hot. No, you want this sucker as hot as possible. Get that water in there, pour it in, close the lid good and tight, turn it sideways to make sure it doesn't leak because you're going to put this bad boy straight in your sleeping bag. So that way you can stay nice and warm and you can wrap your feet around it. It makes this situation totally civilized. I've used this technique on, in Antarctica, on Denali, in Greenland, in the Arctic. Totally works. The second technique is to eat a high calorie meal well before bedtime, at least an hour before bedtime. I love these mountain house meals. Uh, was it 500 calories? You power chow that thing down and oh, but make sure you eat the meal at least an hour before you go to bed because once you eat that food, the blood is going to go to your stomach and your digestive system and actually make you really cold. And you still want to be up and active in order to stay warm because if you chow this meal down and get right in your bag, I guarantee you your feet are going to get cold. So that's something to avoid. Trick, eat well before you're going to go to bed. The next of my six techniques in staying warm and keeping your toes and feet warm while camping, backpacking, and hiking in snowy conditions is to do some serious exercise before you get in your tent or before you get in your sleeping bag. I know it might be a little annoying to get out of the tent, but do some jumping jacks and really push your arms around. Make sure you have your gloves on so you don't get convection cooling, flip your arms around, do some jumping jacks. It'll kind of wear you out, but by doing this, you really get your blood flowing and doing 20 or 30 jumping jacks can make all the difference. I've used this technique on Kilimanjaro when we were a little wet and cold and man, I got in my bag, I was like, oh. So even if you can't get outside of your tent and you do some crunches and power lifts and legs, anything to get your muscles churning, it makes a huge difference in staying warm. The fourth technique uh -huh, is to use double insulation. Instead of just using an air mattress or a Z-Rest mattress or a foam mattress, double these things up. I know it's a bit to carry, but by putting your Z-Rest on top of your foam pad and then putting your sleeping bag on that, or getting your air mattress out. I'll pull this thing out here. This is a specially insulated version of this Neo Air. This thing is incredible. I uh, unroll this, I air it up, and I put it down in my tent, of course. And then, once I get this all aired up, I actually put the foam mat on top of this, and then my sleeping bag on there, and this technique totally works too. I've used this on Denali and never been cold once using this minus 20 Puma bag with this insulated uh, foam pad and then this Neotherm or uh, was it Neo Air X-Therm totally works. Huge difference in staying warm. My fifth technique of keeping your toes warm while camping, backpacking, hiking and such is make sure you have enough of these geese in your sleeping bag. That is Make sure your sleeping bag is rated well enough for the conditions you're going to encounter. Insulation level for the temperature I'm going to be in. These geese right behind me happily fill my sleeping bag. And if it's going to be about zero degrees tonight, I'm not going to bring a zero degrees bag because, be because that puts me right at the edge of where I can stay warm. I can do it, but there's no reason to suffer. Instead, I've brought my minus 20 Puma bag. I'll put links below to all the stuff here. And that way I have make sure I have plenty of headroom or foot room as the case may be to stay warm while I'm camping. Never bring a bag that's just marginal because sometimes I've had the temperature drop 15 and even 20 degrees below what's expected. That's a real chiller. And the sixth technique it takes a lot of planning ahead is order your sleeping bag with an overfilled foot box. I know Western Mountaineering can do it and other manufacturers can do it is you can actually custom order your sleeping bag with an overfilled foot box 
and that keeps uh, your feet warm. So even though your sleeping bag's rated to say minus 20 degrees or five degrees or whatever it might be, that extra little bit of insulation can make a huge difference in your sleeping bag to keep your feet warm while you're hiking, backpacking, and camping in the snow. My name's Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. I spent a lot of nights freezing my keister off in the outdoors. And these were great, uh, six great tips to help you keep your feet and toes warm when you're camping, backpacking, and hiking in the snow. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel. Links below to all items in this video. Thank you very much, and stay warm out there.